All right, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's sincere, Shalom, to the alchemists out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and a fellow Akin the opportunity to do these lessons in these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the, on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans. 12 tribes of Israel, the ones the law, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises were given to. All right, Shalom. Wong. So, this is a um, a real quick video, kind of out on the road right now. All right, um, a real quick video, and um, how it's important to be sober, man, in, in this um, in this um, society, all right, and especially in these times we're in right now, you know, it's important to be. You know, sober-minded, man. All right. So I got the first scripture. I'm gonna just read the first scripture here. All right. This is First Thessalonians five and six. It says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do as uh, do others, but let us watch and be sober." So, you know, if you want to be a watchman, man, if you want to consider yourself to be a watchman, man, you gotta be you gotta be sober-minded, man. You know, you 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 really do gotta be sober-minded, man. You gotta be you know alert. You know. Cause if you're all drunken, you know, and stuff like that, and I'm going in physically too, man. I ain't just talk about spiritual. I'm talking about, cause again, man, you know, it's all it, everything is spiritual. So it, of course it's going to start. Of course it's going to start with 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 that with the spirit, man. Being being sober minded, everything starts with the spirit. You know, whether you want to be whether you want to drink too much or whatever, you know, that all that all starts with that with the spirit, man. All right. So, you know, these other people out here are fucking sleeping, man. You know, they get ready to, you know, celebrate this Juneteenth thing uh, coming Sunday. You know, man, our people are just gone, man. You know, they get ready to celebrate this Juneteenth bullshit. You know, and this is why we got to be this is a, that that much more why we got to be uh, why we got to be sober, man. You know, that goddamn Juneteenth bullshit, man. You know. 4th of July coming up and all that shit, man. You know? And our people don't realize what what the, what the hell... They don't realize what the hell they celebrate that stuff for. Right? What, what, what were we in the time of 4th of July? You know? Juneteenth, the, uh, uh, the, end, the end of slavery. You know, I went into it a little... I went into it a, a little more yesterday, man. You know? The end of slavery. See, this, that's that's... Because these people out out here in a mindset of, of sleep, you know, they're not sober, and they don't want to be sober. They want to continue, you know, to, 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 to celebrate what the hell they want to celebrate, man. You know, instead of, you know, uh, uh, coming back to the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, instead of coming back to the voice of the Lord. All right. Now, the scripture I wanted for the main point is down on the bottom. All right. Uh, First Peter chapter five, verse eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant. All right. Because your adversary, the devil. All right. Um, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, man. All right. So that's why it's important to be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, man, you know, which that that could be, <laughs> that could be, uh, you know, two two thirds, all right, and most definitely Esau, man, you know, walking about seeking who he who he may devour, man. He wants to devour you, man. Devour you or what? All these damn philosophies, man. Want want you to be taken away by Juneteenth. <laughs> They want you to be taken away by, by Juneteenth and all this, all this other stuff, man. You know, sodom, sodomy, and all that stuff, man. You know. What I want to do is uh, real quick. I want to get that definition sober. All right, because it said be sober, be vigilant. You know, this is why me personally, I pray for that vigilance, man. You know, and to keep that vigilance. We are surrounded by unrighteousness and infirmities as um 
Second Ezra chapter four say, all right, we're surrounded by uh, unrighteousness and infirmities, man. It's, it's, it's all around us, you know, these demonic, these demonic ass forces, man. All right, to be sober, to be calm and collected in spirit. All right, be temperate, all right, dispassionate, all right, and circumspect. So if you're not sober and, and you, you, you know, you caught lacking or whatever, you know, you, you, you just gonna be, that's why it said be sober, be vigilant. Sober and, it's like here. Sober and vigilance go hand in hand with each other, man. You know, they pretty much are almost the same thing. Because if you're vigilant, you're watchful. Okay, you get to plan out what you're going to do. Okay, all right, got it. You know, just like these 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 events and stuff like that. Why do you think? Why do you think they don't catch us by surprise when they? Flag our channels and stuff like that. Why the hell you don't? Why the hell you think they don't? No, nothing catches us by surprise, man. Nothing surprises us, man. Because we're we're being vigilant. We're being watchful. We know what the deal is, and that's why it's important. So you don't if you don't know, and if things happen. Well, like I said, you're gonna be you're gonna be all out of whack, man. You're gonna be like, man, you ain't gonna know what the hell to do. You're just gonna be so so disoriented. It's like, you know. Again, you just, you just not going to know what the, what the hell to do. Like, oh shit, you know, it's just going to be, you know, unexpected, you know. So, you know, I just want to kind of, I just wanted to do this video as a, as a reminder. You know, watch ye therefore, pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right, that's Luke chapter 21, verse 36. So just, you know, read it. I, you know, I want to get it right now. Just read, you know, read it. Right. You know, but that's, that's, um, you know, that scripture is something to always remember too, you know, <laughs> especially these times we're in right now, man. Damn, man. These times we're in right now, man, it's getting it, 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 it pretty bad. And then more, you know, they, they're releasing more demons into the world, you know, more demons taking, taking people over, you know. The, the 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 way you see the way the people I mean to like the, the the way you see people act you know ain't nothing but fucking demons man right and we pray that we don't get taken by that stuff man because that they can that can easily the Lord can easily open up that wall of uh, angel, uh, the barrier of angels and let and let all them demons just you know come and take you over man we, we you know I'm sure I'm I'm sure all the brothers have seen that in the truth. You know, at least at least once. You know, at least one time. You know. So, so I'm talking about man, all up on my back and shit, man. You know, see, it's just as we talking about how you know, it, it, even out here when the way people fucking drive, man. You know. But anyway, you know, giving all praise, honor, glory to you. by I was shot by a shot by a All right. Shalom.